What is up, YouTube? Rico explain name of the game. You know what I'm saying? It's back with a discussion video. Today, we're going to talk about Dragon Ball Super because, you know, because I like Dragon Ball Z. So, today, we're going to talk about Bardock being in Dragon Ball Super and the Dragon Ball Super. Possibility. You know, I had this idea, you know, as a Goku's father, you know, we haven't seen the last time we seen him was honestly after he beat Lord Chill when he transformed into a Super Saiyan. After that, I'm pretty sure that was canon. If it's not, kill me right now. So that's the last time we seen him. That's the last time he was showed. So I was assuming they should have make an appearance in Dragon Ball Super since they started a new series. Have Bardock included in the series this time since he was never included in the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z story. I don't even think he was even mentioned now that I think about it. I mean, other than Vegeta talking, I think Vegeta brought him up. But other than that, I don't think he was actually mentioned. But I really think it's a good idea if they brought him in, you know, since I think Super is after Battle of Gods or after Frieza's Resurrection. Somebody clear that for me because I've been working on stop. To be honest, these two jobs are killing me. Two jobs temporarily, but yeah, I think, you know, this is out there, the Battle of Gods and all that. So they already know about the Super Saiyan God and the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, I believe. So maybe they should include Bardock in there somewhere. Perhaps make Bardock a Super Saiyan guy, you know, that wouldn't be a bad idea But honestly, it's gonna be the same thing all over again if if they included Bardock and Dragon Ball Super They hopefully don't have it to where everyone becomes a Super Saiyan guy because they get very bland and played out Kind of like, you know, Super Saiyan was Goten and Trunks had as a kid That was the pinnacle right there. No, the pinnacle was back when Goku, Vegeta did it. The four Super Saiyans That was when the time was like just extreme you know we had these four freaking sweet super saiyans you know goten and trunks kind of played it out everyone was able to turn to super saiyan then they went to super saiyan 3 and all that but yeah i hopefully i don't expect bardock in any way to reach a super saiyan god super saiyan or even a super saiyan god in general but i would like for him to appear in dragon ball super at least you know to be played to be in the story along with Goku and Vegeta. I don't know how that will play out. Honestly, I don't even know if Baraka is still alive at this time because Goku is like, this man Goku is old. <laughs> like not counting GT because GT never counts in that any discussion ever, but that man Goku is old, man. In freaking Majin Buu Saga, he was getting up there in age. Of course, you can't tell in appearance because he's an actual Saiyan. So yeah, hopefully Bardock, I'm thinking, not thinking I want Bardock to make an appearance. He's one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters next to Vegeta and Android 18 for my own reason. She's one of my favorite characters. But yeah, I just want Bardock to make an appearance. I feel that add a little bit more to the story. You know, probably include him as a supporting character, you know, helping out Goku or Vegeta whenever they need. But honestly, if they don't give him some type of upgrade, whatever, I think he's gonna be useless. You know, he got his recent Super Saiyan power up from Lord Chill. That's not gonna be much when you have Super Saiyan Gods and Super. That's only if they even use a level of Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, and Dragon Ball Super. If they don't, they're good. So, I mean, I don't know if I went off track. I felt like I did. I just want Bardock to be in the manga. I feel it'll be good for Goku's character progression as well as Vegeta's. I don't know, I'm not good ex explaining like the development of certain characters. I'm not good at that. I just basically get my opinions and hopefully you want Bardock to be in Dragon Ball Super because that'd be a really cool idea, you know. Really cool. So that's pretty much it. It was a pretty short discussion video. Just want to get my ideas and thoughts on who I wanted in Dragon Ball Super and why I wanted Bardock in there. If I even explained that. I believe I did. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment in the comment box below if you have something to say. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Again, Stay sexy, stay beautiful, most of all, stay saying fresh. Stupid.